all the people in the gas station already. Already there's a line. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <sighs> this is not a happy face because look at all our stuff. We had to bring some of the stuff in from the backyard or from the patio because we're preparing for a hurricane. I didn't want to have to make this type of vlog again because I've done one like this before. We're already trying to get the shutters up. We're kind of annoyed at the uh, inconvenience of it all. But hey, I guess it's a part of living in Florida, right? What? Uh, we're annoyed at the, the inconvenience of it all. Yeah. Do you need my help? All right, we're starting to put up the shutters now since um, the property managed company where we live doesn't take care of this stuff for us. We, we gotta do it ourselves, so that's what we're doing right now. Three hours later. I got a little bit of an update. Um, we were not able to put up any shutters. No shutters on this house at the moment. The shutters that we have in this garage, so okay. Long story short, we are renting this house from a property management company and there were shutters in the garage when we first moved in here. We tried using those shutters today for the first time. Those shutters do not fit anywhere on any of the windows, on any of the doors in this house. We tried putting them there. There's like three different sizes of shutters and we tried every size and they don't line up with like the screws and the bolts that are like surrounding each window and surrounding each door. So these shutters basically do not fit anywhere in this house and it's really, really stressful and actually kind of scary because we're like, okay, the hurricane is like coming in like two days from now. How, what are we gonna do? We're kind of just hoping for the best. Uh, not really gonna, we don't think we're gonna put up any shutters, although our neighbor said that before we moved in here, the people who lived in this house actually just boarded up with uh, plywood. So maybe we'll have to find some plywood tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Also, my mom is flying in today. But since all the flights are gonna be full, coming in from Ecuador for the next month, because of this hurricane, and she flies standby, obviously. Um, all the flights will be full, so she won't be able to make it on any flight, unless she flies in today. Today is actually like the one day that there's actually open seats on the flight from Ecuador to Miami, so she's coming in tonight. So I gotta hurry up, clean the house, bathe this little dog, give him a little bath, he has no idea. He hates baths. <sighs> so, so far the update for the hurricane is that there is no update. They really have no idea where it's gonna hit, what uh, path it's taking. All they know is that it's coming towards Florida and that's pretty much all we know so far. So I'm trying not to have the news on in the background because it gets really annoying, it's really stressful and I just repeat the same thing over and over and over again and I, I think it just makes, it, makes us more stressed than we should be. The next day. What are you doing? Painting these DIY pumpkins. So these are pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. They're the orange styrofoam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And basically we carved them out. So look at all the cute little faces. And then I'm just painting them white now because we saw a DIY video. This is the project that we're gonna be doing uh, throughout the hurricane. Um, it is the next day. Still in the middle of this hurricane prep and kind of just waiting to see what's gonna happen with this hurricane. But look at what I've done with the pumpkins so far. So basically we've carved them out and painted them. The next thing that I want to do is um, we're gonna put all the pumpkins right through here. Whatever, you guys. <laughs> I'll show you the end result and you guys will see what uh, it is that we're doing. It's actually a DIY video that we found on YouTube and I'll link it down below if you guys like the outcome of it. You guys should go check out that video. It's a pretty cool project and it's pretty fairly simple. Like if I could do it, anyone could do it. <laughs> okay, so, so far we're carving holes onto the top of these pumpkins. So each one has to have a hole on the top. Well, I'm drilling it, so yeah. I prefer, I like a smooth clean hole, and that's what this is, if you have one of these. And we'll, we'll show you guys what we're gonna do with the holes. The only problem with this is that it really does get a lot of this stuff. A lot of styrofoam pieces all over the place. So just do it somewhere, maybe outside. So we carved the hole right through, right? And look, it's perfect size for this. The one eighth is exactly perfect. So we're gonna do that with the rest of the pumpkins. So. You really don't need to go very fast. My mom is in town. Say hello, mother. Hello. How are you? Hi, Gio. Gio's happy that grandma's home. Grandma. <laughs> are you happy? Grandma's not a grandma yet. She's a dog grandma. She's waiting to be though. Uh, thanks a lot. I was supposed to film this. Oh, sorry. Well, that's easy. It's okay. It? So each pumpkin has a unique little face on it. Obviously we have way more important things to do during this hurricane prep time. 
<laughs> All right, so we got our last pumpkin here. Place it right on top. This is our first DIY project. So yeah, so I went and bought garland foliage garland. We also spray painted that planter on the bottom. Oh look guys, we have water for the hurricane. So this morning, when I picked up my mom from the airport, we stopped by Walmart at five in the morning. Probably the earliest I've ever been to Walmart before. And we were able to get cases of water. Thank God. Gio is such a nosy dog. Gio. Oh yeah, I like that. Looks good. So you, you told me you, you just took a regular uh, pot and then spray painted it. And to keep it stable, just bought some um, these like little rocks at the dollar store. Yeah. Um, I got three packs and that's way to keep it both heavy from moving. To keep it from flying away. <laughs> Gio, really? He's like, what is that? What is that? Give it to me. All right, so what is that? That's moth, right? Uh, Spanish moss, yeah. Spanish moth, moss, moss from the dollar store. Once again, just shove it down there. Geo, really? Look at mm, that. Looks good. All right. Ma, come look at this. Oh, look at that mess you just made. Geo, you're a little brat. I just gotta put the lights in and then that's it. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lily? We got it from YouTube. We got it from a YouTube video, so it's not really my idea or our idea. Right, it's not my matter. We just no, no, we did it. It looks very nice. I will did it. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the lights in, and then boom. We have an artist in his natural habitat here, working on a Halloween project. What you doing? Just kind of got a little hole in the back so that I could stick these lights in and then cover it right back up. So, so far guys, we got a little LED light that we got from the dollar store. This is what it looks like with the lights off. So far, so cute. All right, we are outside of the house and this is what it looks like, the final product. So I think at night and at day, they're both gonna have like different look. I love it, I can't wait for it to be Halloween. So during the day, it'll look like this. Good job. The next day. As the system is expected to stay far enough offshore, Broward and Miami Dade and the Keys completely out of the forecast cone of concern. It's not good news though for our friends in the northwestern half of the Bahamas. As the system has strengthened, the pressure has gone down to 945 millibars. The winds have gone up to 150 miles per hour. It is crawling now to the west at 8 miles per hour. As it's about 415 miles east of West Palm Beach, it will continue that westward track. This is what you need to know. We are completely out of the forecast cone of concern in Fort Lauderdale, in Miami-Dade, all the way into the Keys. With that said, we are dealing with a Category 4 hurricane just offshore the central portions of our state. So that's some fairly good news for us. Um, we just hope that it stays on track the way that they're saying that it's supposed to be. Um, I guess I have to head to work today. I was going to try and take a personal day off because I thought I was going to have to be home and continue preparing and, you know, obviously be with my mom and be with John. But um, since we're out of the cone of concern, as they say, um, I guess it's pretty safe for me to go to work. So I'm heading to work today. I gotta shave, guys. Oh my God, look at my face. My thoughts and prayers do, however, go out to everyone in the Bahamas. I really, really hope that somehow, at the last minute, that they're spared as well. Is there anything that you want to say? Uh, good morning. So I'm gonna start off by this wreath. I was talking about the hurricane. Aren't you happy it's not coming anymore? Oh yeah, good news. So we're out of the corner concern. Yeah. Miami-Dade and Broward. So we'll probably just get like uh, bands of rain, maybe some tropical storm winds, nothing to worry about. The good thing is we do have things necessary for if it does come because we're still in season. But now that means we can get back to Yes, <laughs> back to regularly scheduled. Back to regularly scheduled Halloween, Halloween programming because I felt like all the hurricane stuff was getting in the way of all of the excitement that we get for Halloween. Oh wait, did you show? Oh, we showed you already the pumpkin. Let's right? go show it to them again because it yeah, is so cute. If we put it outside, it's gonna get dirty. But here, it looks so good. And then at night, we'll just turn a little light on. And and I think this is the perfect uh, place for it right here. Hey, Gio, are you happy the hurricane is no longer coming? Yes. No? So I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna start another vlog today um, when I start my trip at work. Um, but thanks for following along. I know this wasn't a very exciting hurricane vlog. Thank God, because we don't want a hurricane vlog. We don't want exciting hurricane vlogs. We don't want that. So I'm glad that it, it was as uneventful as it was. Just keeping you guys updated on what's going on. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This month in September, I'll probably be doing tons of vlogs. I'm gonna try and do a lot 
of videos. Almost close to daily vlogging, almost, but not quite. If you're new to the family, make sure you go down below, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye everyone, I'll see you soon.